understood. Yeah, now I have to get out.
20 pounds. Well, I'm sorry, Pooty Pingleton. There were some extra charges. Some of your personal stains required pounding on a rock. <laughs> Four o'clock, I said, I have to ask, who got detention again? Chasing term by mind, your manners say hello to our guest. Hello, Mrs. Pingleton. And you, Penny. Hello, Mrs. Pingleton. I mean, Mother. Teenagers, they just love watching their corny collars. Delinquents? It ain't right dancing to that color music. Oh, don't be silly, it ain't color. The TV's black and white. <laughs> ourselves anywhere while we are on camera. Tannin, lose the patty. You too, Fender. <laughs> Me, stop hogging the camera. You're not Elvis yet. Amber, hog the camera. Yes, mother. <laughs> and you, Mr. Collins. None of that Detroit sound today. Do you have something against? Well, the kids are just over the moon for rhythm and blues, Velma. They can't get enough. They're kids, Corny. That's why we have to lead them in the right direction. I mean, well, you know what I mean. Hey, bro, I've got something for you. I figure since we've been going sort of steadily, maybe we can make it official. <gasps> Link, your council member ring. <laughs> ah, no! No, save your personal lives for the camera. Oh, we're back to Corny. In three... Two, one. Now, don't forget, guys and gidgets, coming up is our very first primetime spectacular on June 6th. We'll be live at Baltimore's brand new Eventorium, broadcasting nationwide. Talent scouts from all the major record labels will be on hand. And sponsoring the event will be none other than our very own Ultra Clutch Hairspray. So let's give a great, big, fawning Baltimore salute to the president of Herrick, Mr. Harriman. F. Spritzer! Uh, uh, Ultra Clutch is happy to bring you fine youngsters to national attention. Also live on the special, we'll be crowning your choice for Miss Teenage Hairspray 1962. My big break. Well, isn't she a lovely slim girl? Uh, uh, I guess Amber's pretty, but she can't dance. Plastic little spastic. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna kill myself. She's wearing Link Larkin's council ring. Hey gang, don't forget to watch Mom and Me next Thursday on Mother Doug. Good turn. Dave, and I'm gonna be your Miss Teenage Hairspray. Remember, a vote for me from you is a vote for me. What an unexpected ad lib, Amber. And speaking of expected the unexpected, our very own fun-loving, freewheeling Brenda will be taking a little leave of absence from the show. How long will you be gone, Brenda? Nine months. <laughs> so it looks like there's an open.
opening for a girl who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not quite as free-wheeling. Hey, you want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Cut school tomorrow and come on down to station WZZ-TV to audition. Uh, hey there. Oh my god, it's a dream of a lifetime! I have to go and audition! Oh my god, it's a dream of a lifetime! I have to go watch you audition! <laughs> that'll be enough of that for one day. No one's auditioning for anything. There'll be no cutting school in this house. But Mrs. Turnblad... Penny, go tell your mother she wants you. She does? Oh, I better hurry. Oh, bye, Mrs. Turnblad! Bye, Tracy! Whoa! Watch out with traffic! Oh, hey! Hey, ladies, since I got that new shipment of exploding bubblegum downstairs, business is booming! Oh, just forget me! How's my two funny honeys? Oh, stop, Ruby. You're the funny one. Daddy, tomorrow I'm going to audition to dance on a TV show. You're going to have to go further than that to get around me, young lady. No one's auditioning for anything. And what did I tell you about that hair? All ratted up like a teenage Jezebel. Mama, you're so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie Kennedy, rats her hair. Yeah, well, you ain't no first lady, are ya? No, she's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And I got her put in detention again. Hooper, talk to her. Girls like Tracy. People like us. You know what I'm saying? They don't put people like us on television except to be laughed at. Tracy, honey, this TV thing, do you really want it? Oh, it's my dream, Daddy. Then you go for it, baby! <laughs> this is America. You gotta think big to be big. Being big is not the problem. <laughs> when I was your age, my parents begged me to run away and join the circus. But I said, no, that's what you want. I have dreams of my own. My dream was to open up a chain of joke shops worldwide. All right, so I've only got the one. If I could ever figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of the sofa-sized whoopee cushion, I want to make a noise heard around the world. <laughs> you go for your dream, baby. I'm going to grab an orange crush, head back down to the Hardy Har Hut. I got my dream. And I love it. I will stop you not helping. Thanks, Daddy. Tracy, turn right. You get back up here and help me. I'm facing hampers of laundry and my diet pill is wearing off. <laughs> but, Mama... I want to be famous. You want to be famous? Learn to get blood out of car upholstery. That's a skill you can take right to the bank. You think I wanted to spend my life washing and ironing people's clothing? I should say not. I wanted to design them. I thought I'd be the biggest thing in Brazier's. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Careful. But, Mom, all I was doing was watching Corny Collins over at Tracy's. Didn't I forbid you from listening to that race music? Oh, if the police ever locate your father, he'll punish you good. Your dancing was atrocious today, Amber. Now, I am willing to lie, cheat, and steal to win you that Miss Hairspray crown, but you have got to work with me. Now, let me out that zit. Stop! There is no way to treat clean clothes. One day you will own Edna's accidental laundry. Will you be ready? I hope not. <laughs> Don't contradict me. Don't disobey me. Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! No! no. Mother! Stop!
Really? That's all? Yep. Huh. Who would have thought that Baltimore girls were all such skags? <laughs> <laughs> oh, phew. Well, I never thought we'd make it. Stupid bus crash. <laughs> all my life, I imagined what this place would look like. <laughs> this isn't it. <laughs> Not too late, dear. Just too much. <laughs> Tracy, look! It's Link! <laughs> Link Larkin. So near and yet so gorgeous. <laughs> I know, those girls were all over me. I don't know how Rock Hudson stands it. <laughs> Excuse me, little darling. What about indent you do? Prepared when he tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. Cause when he nudged me, love put me in a fix. Yes, it hit me just like a ton of bricks. Yes, my heart burst. Now I know what life's about. One little touch, and love's not. Bye. 
detention about now? Um, well, I cut school to audition for Corny. Isn't that too cool? <laughs> Maybe you should have saved the bus fare. The Mickey Mouse show has all the dancing hippos they need. <laughs> this is America, where every loser has the right to be judged by a panel of her peers. Fire away! Interview her! Mother! Get to view her now! How many sweaters do you own? What color is your princess phone? When was the last time you were asked out? Three sweaters, a green phone, and just the other night if my father counts. <laughs> Would you swim in an integrated pool? <gasps> well, I sure would. I'm all for integration. It's the new frontier. <gasps> Not in Baltimore, it isn't. Thank you for wasting our time. You're welcome. You see, Amber, America, <laughs> it works. I could tell they secretly liked you. Ma'am, may I please audition? Oh, well, of course not, dear. But come back next week when we have auditions for Negro Day. <laughs> I know every step, I know every song, I know there's a place where I belong. Why did you be so mean? You're short, you're stout, you're not council material. I wear the latest fashions. I keep up with all the styles. I'm teasing my hair as high as I can. Will they give me a chance? Encouragement? Appreciation? No. All I ever hear is... Crazy Turnblad! Once again, your monumental hair don't has seriously obstructed everyone's view of the blackboard. As principal of Patterson Park High, I condemn you to three more days detention! <laughs> detention? Is there no pity for a team just trying to fit in? Maybe you want to try so hard. Excuse me, but you get detention just about as much as I do, and I never hear you complain. But I do. You see, this is my way of complaining. Oh! <coughs> oh! <laughs> that was sweet! There's a little something signified to say, Hello, my name is Seaweed J. Stubbs. What's else, baby? Oh, that's unbelievable. Can I do that? I don't know. Can you? Hello, my name is Tracy Turnblad. Hey! Ow! Hey, hey! Not bad for a white girl. Hey, hey, hey! There ain't no black and white up in here. Detention is a rainbow experience. <laughs> What's that step? Oh, uh, this? I call this painting place after midnight. I use it to attract the opposite sex. <laughs> Fearless girl, you really got it going on. Oh my gosh, I just realized who you are. You dance on me, bro day. Of course he does. His mom runs the show. Your mom is Motor Mouth Maybell, the DJ? Oh, that makes you like royalty. Oh, me bro day is the best. I wish every day was me bro day. Well, in our house it is. <laughs> you know, Courtney Collins is hosting the sophomore hop tomorrow. The only show you're gonna get on is the 11 o'clock news. <laughs> so how you feel about the tension now? Oh, well, I'm a bad, bad girl who needs to be punished. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> Laughing, singing, dancing in detention? Tracy Turnblad, you can give up all hopes of college. I'm putting you in special ed with the rest of these characters. <laughs> hey there, sophomores! 
and sophomores at heart. I'm proud to be your guest DJ here at TPHS. So without any further ado do, let's do do some dancing. It's the hottest dance around and it's born right here in Baltimore. What's it called, kids? And where to see it first? Keep your eye on me. Now, when I say hit it, I want you to show me the big bad Baltimore box. 